Hello! Today I'm going to be talking about Wonder by RJ Palacio. I won this book as part of a giveaway with the Anti-Bullying Readathon, so thank you very much to Sarah Churchill for organising that, and also for getting in touch with Penguin and, and, and getting the books to me, because there was a mix-up over Christmas. Uh, so I finally got the books, and I finally read Wonder, which uh, everybody was raving about during the readathon. It's a great book, it's really nice, it's really feel-good, uh, but also I think there's quite a lot to learn there, especially for younger readers. I'd say it's probably aimed at young adults slash children more than anything else. But I think with the subject matter, no matter what age you are, you can take something from it, you can learn something from the book. So I think that's really, really good. So very briefly, Wonder is about a boy called August who was born with a facial deformity. And even after several surgeries, uh, his face is still... Uh, noticeably disfigured, I guess. And he's obviously very conscious about that. He's been homeschooled all his life, uh, but he's starting in an actual school with other kids and he's very nervous about it. And it kind of details his first year in normal school. What I didn't know is that the book is narrated from a couple of different viewpoints. I thought it was all from August's point of view, first person, but it's actually from several different people. The first couple of chapters are him, then there's a few chapters from his sister, then there's a few chapters from his sister's boyfriend, and his sister's friend, and then his friend. So it allows you to see different points of view uh, of the same story because they'll forward the plot but they'll also reflect on things that have happened in previous chapters and that happened to previous characters. That's something that surprised me about the book. I didn't expect that. And I thought it was a really good way of talking about the subject matter because we're talking about bullying and we're talking about how uh, you shouldn't judge someone just by their looks. I think it was good to be able to see both points of view so you get August having people staring at him and then you have someone who has stared at him, and then gone, oh, I shouldn't do that, that's really mean of me. In terms of taking stuff away from the book, I think it's really, really good for readers to be able to understand both points of view and to, to get things from his perspective, but also get things from uh, a, a more similar perspective to them. Because if you have been brought up looking normal, as it were, you may not know his point of view, but you might be more empathetic with his friends, who the first time they meet him are kind of staring and going, whoa, what happened? And I think that train of thought we may all have had when we've seen someone who looks different. And I think then that kind of buys you into it because then that character goes, you know what, never mind, he's really cool anyway. And that's a good viewpoint to have and it's something that we can then see ourselves doing. And the thing is, deep down, August is a really nice person. Like, he does come across as quite shy, and that's natural, but he's also, he's a huge Star Wars fan, which is really cute. And I mean, like, a really big Star Wars fan. Like, huge. At the end of the book, he start of, he, he pulls down his Star Wars poster because he doesn't want to be known as the Star Wars guy in his class. And I think that's really sad, because you should still have those interests. You shouldn't hide your light under a bushel. And I think he, he does that to try and blend in a bit even though no one sees his bedroom where his poster is and that was a bit sad because Star Wars is awesome and no one should be ashamed of liking Star Wars because where would we be without that saga? Where? In terms of the writing of this book it's uh, very simply written I think. The different characters don't really have independent voices like they're still written in the same style as everyone else's in the style of RJ Palacio which I'm okay with it's very very hard to distinguish different characters when you're speaking from different viewpoints so I understand that even though it's first person I probably want more of it but I don't care too much because I wasn't reading this book for the different viewpoints I was reading it for the story <laughs> the story by the way is really nice I mean uh, August you know gets bullied and has to deal with a lot of setbacks and family problems and that's all horrible but in a very sort of typical feel-good book, it works out okay. In that way, the ending was kind of typical. I don't mind so much. If it had ended badly, then I would have been in tears. I don't think it should have ended badly. I think it should have ended on a nice note, and it did. Some of the things that August says just feel so real. They really do convey sort of the emotional pain he goes through, but also kind of like the boredom of going, oh, there's another person staring at me in the street, and how at one time can feel normal and typical for him at one time still kind of breaks his heart. I think I think it's a really important book uh, for people to read. I think it's especially important for people in school and, and teenagers and kids to read because it's about acceptance more than anything else and it's about accepting people for who they are not what they look like and also how to behave around people who look different and how it's kind of understandable that if you see someone who looks very different from you for there to be shock and surprise, but also to work past that and, and to look past the skin. And I think that's a really important concept 
and it's highlighted throughout the book by uh, these precepts that his English teacher uh, talks about. Uh, I think they're really good. They're talking about kindness, most of all. The general idea behind the book is that it's very important to be kind. There's a really good quote in the book, uh, which is, if you have a choice between being good and being kind, choose kind. And I think that's something that we really should, in society, uh, especially in developed countries, really promote, because kindness doesn't cost anything but it can have these huge rewards. I have like a, a public facing job at the moment. I do experience things where I, I'm meeting lots of different people and I have to remember with, with some people you have to go out of your way just to be a bit kinder to them, a bit more uh, engaging and nice. And I think that's a really important thing for people to do. This book kind of does highlight the, the rewards of being kind and how being a dick kind of just doesn't pay off. I think it was really nice to be reading a book that had a message. And I haven't read a book with a message for a while, and that was really uplifting. So that's Wonder by RJ Palacio. Thank you again to Sarah Churchill for this book. It's absolutely fantastic. I'd, I'd give it like four out of five. Like it was missing the fifth star just because it did feel a bit contrived towards the end. It had to show a happy ending. And I think it would have been maybe braver to do a horrible ending, but I, it wouldn't have been such a good book if it was. Like it would be, I feel maybe more realistic. The message is to be kind and lovely and sweet and gooey to other people. So uh, I, I feel that the ending should have been nice and sweet and lovely and gooey. If you've read the book or if you want to read the book, then please comment below and thank you very much for watching.